And if you remember in past videos, this is where my celery was. Okay, number one, you're gonna get the yield of a mild jalapeno. jalapeno. It's on my garden again, and so not much is going on because it's cold and rainy and dreary, and so I decided to kind of do a continuation off of last week's video. <clears throat> Still getting over my cold, so bear with me here. Um, but today I'm going to show you all of the tomato varieties that I have. Um, it's actually really cool, so stay tuned. Um, it's it really demonstrates actually how many varieties there are, and to be perfectly honest. I only have, it might seem like I have a ton, but I only have probably one, one fortieth, one fiftieth of the amount of tomato varieties actually out there. Some people say that there's up to 3,000 varieties of tomatoes. Um, whether or not that's an accurate number, I don't know, because a lot of people will take a tomato and just grow it for three or four years to turn it into an heirloom and name it themselves. So it could be theoretically the exact same tomato. Um, so what I'm trying to say is there's 3,000 names of tomatoes, but there may be a thousand different varieties of tomatoes. So um, those are all derived from from different mutations, and then the people save the mutated tomatoes, grow those mutated tomatoes, and that's how you get um, the uh, the multicolored and the ones that are just misshaped and cool. And so I'm going to kind of jump right into this and I will show you all the varieties of tomatoes that you can grow. Really easy to obtain. It literally cost me maybe sixty dollars for all the seeds I'm about to show you plus some that I saved and I'm really excited to show you so stay tuned and I'm going to jump right in. Alright so here we have all the tomatoes and they just seem to be limitless here so I'm going to jump right into it and just start showing you stuff this is called a Cherokee Purple. It's a really big tomato. I'm really into growing big tomatoes this year. A Black Creme. A Great White. A t Pineapple Tomato or Tomato Pineapple. Whichever one you want to call it. Purple Russian. Ace 55. Grew that this year. I really liked that variety. This one's awesome. Violet Jasper. And some of these you may have seen on my on my seed collection video, but um, there's another Cherokee Purple. But uh, I was going to show you because this is, these are all my tomatoes that I will ever be getting. Pink Brandywine. And if you guys have some really cool varieties you'd like to send me, you guys can always send me an email. I'm always willing to accept some. Um, and this is called a Brown Berry Tomato, kind of like a cherry variety. An Aussie Tomato. Oh man, and I am saving up still for a new camera. The the uh, focusing quality on that is not as nearly as good as it could be. Boxcar Willie, Rutgers, Pink Oxheart, Oregon Spring. These are really early variety, and so they should be a nice nice ripener. A celebrity tomato. I heard those are really nice for their uh, for their yields. Pink brandywines is what I grew this year. I really was very pleased with this variety. Here's some seeds I saved. These are the hillbilly. Um, the ones I did in the seed saving video I decided to throw out, but I made a new batch that I that was not blight ridden and saved the seeds from those. So I got those. Then I have Italian heirloom. This is a really big Italian variety. A beef steak and organic. I always try to buy the organic, but not a lot of companies sell the organic seeds. You have to usually check online for them. And then this is a Thessalonike. Thessalonike. Of course, it won't focus because it's smaller text, but um, I believe uh, Ray Praxis55712, you grew this tomato a couple of years ago or maybe last year. Mortgage Lifter Tomato. San Marzano grew those this year. I really liked them. It got a lot of yield to them. Yellow pear, definitely a prolific producer if you're looking for a nice yellow tomato with an exotic flavor. Really sweet, really uh, overwhelming in in variety too. Um, giant Belgium tomato. 
Golden Jubilee, uh, MPH Gardener. You definitely grew this. I remember you showing those on there for sure. Roma. Another Roma. Another thing I was going to say was a lot of these seeds, I've seen other YouTubers grow, and so I saw the, the, way, that they, the way that they grew, and that's what really helps you decide what is a good variety and what's a bad variety. This is a Vincent Watts tomato. Sorry, I have to adjust. Oh, my back's been killing me. That's all good, though. Micro Tom tomato. This tomato is going to be the sweetest tomato ever. It really only gets... is. Uh, it says that it gets a maximum of 16 inches tall, and it puts out a lot of a lot of tomatoes. This is a Tommy Toe tomato. See, a lot of people grow those. Another beef steak. I'm gonna try to focus this camera. I'll be right back. That's irritating me. All right, that is so much better. See, I want to just have an autofocus where um where it automatically focuses on text, but I have it on the text mode where it selects a mode that will zoom in on the text, but this is a big Zach tomato, and I really want to see if I can grow a super big variety. This is one of the biggest varieties that um, you can have. Uh, it's big Zach. They apparently get as big as six pounds, so we'll see. Here's my Better Boy Hybrid. Uh, I'm not big on growing hybrids, but I got it at a garage sale, along with a bunch of other seeds for about 10 cents, so you really couldn't beat it. Large Red Cherry Tomato. Boy, oh boy, hybrid. Like I said, I, I like just growing every variety that I possibly can get my hands on. German Johnson, I really like how big a variety that is. A Tumbling Tom, yellow cherry tomato. Some more seeds from Ray, uh, Roma. Those were the ones he sent me a year ago, and I'm still keeping them. This is an Italian heirloom. It's, uh, it's a really big Italian variety, but not as big as the other variety that I just showed you. <clears throat> this is a Henderson's Pink Ponderosa, and these get really big as well. Actually, most of the seeds um, that I purchased will get really big. This is a triple, uh, trip L crop, triple crop tomato seeds, and these apparently are like uh, tomato trees, they say, and they put about one to two pound tomatoes on, and they say that they're the thickest, uh, heaviest producing tomato plant out there, so... Definitely gonna try that. Another giant Belgium tomato. As you can see, there's the picture that they sent with it. Really nice. It's pretty big. Uh, all these are usually in the one to two pound range. I want to see how many big tomatoes I can grow this year. There's a tumbling tom, a red variety. Some more golden jubilee. I got these for free when I purchased some of my other seeds, so, which is always really nice. You always want to look for those freebies because they. They throw those in, it's, it's something you might not ever have before. This is just a regular yellow tomato. <coughs> oh gosh. Man, I gotta get on top of my cold. This is a Cal Ace tomato. A pink ox art tomato. I have quite a few doubles, but I don't mind because, <clears throat> because I'm gonna grow quite a few this year. And up at my cottage, I'm gonna put in a lot. This is a Super Marmond. The Campbell's tomato seeds. Here's the Polish Linguisa tomato seeds. So I know Ray grew those too, and they're hard to get, but I finally found them. Moneymaker. A Golden Sunrise. Got some more black creme that I saved myself. That was from the salsa making video. I saved those. Big Red. That's a new heirloom just out on the market. I got it from a gentleman at our at our uh, farmer's market. Grape tomatoes. Grew those this year. I really, really liked them. Roma tomatoes. I grew them this year. I also really liked them. This is, an, this is a weird variety. It's called an orange strawberry tomato. <clears throat> and uh, here's some more seeds. I'm getting the seeds that I saved myself. Mellow yellow. Uh, I got a whole big bag of these. And these are really, really prolific producer. So maybe I can get some out. But here's a pink brandy wine. A white eggplant. Now, this isn't really a tomato variety, but uh, it's in the tomato family, the Solanense family. So I decided to, to show this one as well because I saved the seeds myself. So I'm kind of proud of that. <laughs> um, then here's a beefsteak and hillbilly mix. Uh, this is just to, you just disperse the seeds into a bed. 
and you just free range them and let them grow wherever and they're a nice producing variety that are fairly blight resistant that I found so I, I put those in a mix. Here's some yellow pear that I saved myself and then last but not least is my McDonald's Delight and these are prolific producers very heavy um, dense tomatoes I love them by far my favorite tomato but uh, I I just want to let everyone know that this is all I have so <clears throat> the winners of the salsa contest I have your McDonald's lights sent out um, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to wait um, until next year when I get some more seeds to send some more out to people this is all I have right now uh, unless someone wants to send me a an email with their with their uh, address and send me a prepaid uh, postage stamp or a prepaid postage envelope I'll send you about three or four seeds because I want to make sure I have enough for myself but uh, sharing is always is always good and last but not least is the surprise this year I'm gonna try growing coffee now this is a dwarf um, commercial commercial grade coffee plant it only gets about three feet tall so I'm going to grow them in the grow room and uh, I got them from tradewindseeds.com tradewindsfruit.com sorry um, and they sell um, they sell a lot of varieties and these are the neatest little seeds you would not think that, that would grow but apparently apparently it does from everything that I've seen um, that's what grows the uh, the beans. So I I I, mean, I could be wrong, but I I honestly thought that uh, that these are what you roasted. But apparently I contacted the people and they said that's what we're supposed to be getting. So unless I'm scammed, um, you know, <laughs> that's what they look like. So I'm gonna grow those this year and hopefully I'll get some to sprout. I should be getting a heating pad as well. So I'm gonna close this video up and I'll get back with you. So, in all, I just want you guys to know that no matter what, um, it's always worth growing the heirloom varieties, and if you guys can't get your hands on some heirloom varieties, definitely go on to eBay, buy some, or go to your store. I'm sure they have a couple heirloom varieties, uh, but definitely try to grow the heirlooms. If you can't whatsoever, you can't find them, at least try to grow some tomatoes, because they're, number one, they're fun. Number two, the yield is, I mean, for one carrot seed, you only get one carrot. For one tomato plant, for one tomato seed, you might get 40, 50 tomatoes off one plant. It's definitely a much more space efficient vegetable for just as many vitamins and, and nutrients and stuff. So, I really like tomatoes. And Ray, I'm not, I'm not trying to steal your thunder. Don't worry, you're still the tomato man. Um, but uh, I just, I really, I found a hobby for growing tomatoes, and so that's basically what I'm going to be growing all next year is just tomatoes. So thank you for watching and remember grow big or go home.